15 Interesting Facts About the Band Queen Queen is an English rock band that was founded in 1970. Within 10 years, Queen had grown to become one of the world's most popular stadium rock bands. Queen was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001. Let's look at some more fascinating Queen band information. 1. Not all artists are dropouts. People frequently believe that because rock stars devote their entire lives to music, they are poor students. The Queen Band has dealt a significant blow to this notion. Except for Freddie Mercury, every other member of the band holds a postgraduate degree. So the Queen is actually rather astute. It's okay, Freddie, they didn't make you the main vocalist for nothing, you're actually very talented. A degree does not make you smarter, but it does make you more educated. 2. Freddie Mercury aka Farrakh Balsara Freddie Mercury was born in Gujarat to an Indian family and was given the name Farrakh Balsara. He eventually changed his name to Freddie Mercury while attending a boarding school. Surprisingly, his passport name is Frederick Mercury. What's in a name, says Freddie again. Did you read Shakespeare at all? What's the point of it? Ahem. 3. Freddie named the band Queen. Freddie was well aware that calling a male band queen would raise eyebrows and be connected with homosexual terminology. Nonetheless, he chose this name because he believed it sounded regal, strong, and wonderful. 4. I Want It All, inspired by Brian's wife. Brian May has said that the major inspiration behind the song I Want It All was his wife Anita Dobson. When his wife responded, I want it all, and I want it now, he got the idea. 5. The Accidental Invention of Stand Free Mic Freddie Mercury's microphone stand broke during the early days of Queen's Act. Instead of looking for a replacement stand, he sang while holding the stub of the stand that supported the microphone. This inspired him to create a new prop, which he began to utilize in other concerts while walking around the stage. Since then, numerous other singers have used Mercury's unintentional creation in their performances. Freddie gets one. Yes, my guy. Is it an invention? Wow. However, it was unintentional tongue sticking out straight from the heart. 6. John Deacon is much more than a bassist. Nobody needs an introduction to John Deacon's bass guitar playing. However, few people are aware that he is a skilled electronics engineer. The majority of the band's equipment is handcrafted by John Deacon. The DC amp is one of John Deacon's most well-known inventions. 7. MJ insisted to release Another One Bites the Dust Queen did not intend to release Another One Bites the Dust at first. When Michael Jackson heard the song backstage at a concert in Los Angeles, he urged the band to release it. The song went on to become one of the band's most popular songs, selling over 7 million copies. 8. I like to ride my bicycle, but Freddie didn't like to ride bicycle. Freddie Mercury, contrary to the lyrics of his song Bicycle Race, did not enjoy riding a bicycle. The lyric I don't like Star Wars appears in the same song. The reality was exactly the reverse, as guitarist Brian May subsequently said that Freddie Mercury was a huge fan of Star Wars. 9. A song composed in bath. Do you know that the song Crazy Little Thing Called Love was written in the bathtub? What's more, guess what? Freddie Mercury created it himself. Freddie was in a hotel when he was inspired to write this song while soaking in a tub. He even had the piano sent to his tub so he could create the tune. Thank God he didn't jump out of the tub yelling Eureka. What? 10. Two music videos of Queen was filmed in Roger Taylor's garden. Queen drummer Roger Taylor's garden is as well known as Roger Taylor himself. This is because the videos for Spread Your Wings and I Want It All were shot in his yard. He was clearly inspired by his wife. She desired it all, so he expanded his wings to obtain everything. Right then? As she desired? 11. Queen Honored by England Queen Elizabeth is always recognized, but we're talking about the band Queen right now. England honored the Queen Band by issuing a postage stamp honoring Freddie Mercury in 1999. However, the royal family was irritated by this stamp since the photo used for the issue had Roger Taylor in the background. The only live persons who can feature on British stamps, according to tradition, are members of the royal family. 
Even if you don't have a degree, you've got it all together, Freddy. 12. Brian May's Handmade Guitar Brian May's iconic guitar, which he affectionately refers to as Red Special or Old Lady, is truly handcrafted. It was created by May and his father. The wood used to make the guitar was taken from a 200-year-old wooden mantelpiece, which is why it is so unique. Wow! 13. Freddie himself had designed the Queen's emblem. Freddie Mercury created the iconic Queen logo himself. His degree in painting and graphic design assisted him in creating this lovely insignia. Despite the fact that he has stated that he does not believe in astrology, his band's symbol comprises of the four members' western star signs. No more jokes, Sir Freddy, you deserve total respect. 14. Queen's Guinness World Records Queen Band's fame has resulted in the establishment of various Guinness World Records. According to Guinness World Records, Queen Band's Bohemian Rhapsody inspired a fan club that is the world's longest-running fan club for a rock group. Queen's albums have also lasted a total of 1,322 weeks, or 26 years, on the UK album chart, making them the longest-running rock band album on the list. 15. The Famous Fans of the Famous Queen Queen's popularity is so tremendous that some of our time's most renowned people are among its biggest fans. Al Murray, Katy Perry, Tom Fletcher, and Tony Lamy are among the celebrities that profess to be Queen fans. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.